The smartphone in your pocket, multiplied by millions worldwide, is giving academic researchers a god's eye view of the world. Almost three quarters of the world's population has a mobile phone for conversation and internet access. Physicists, urban planners, and social scientists are eagerly weaving millions of these electronic threads of data into patterns of people on the move through studies that until now were all but impossible. By assembling such digital data, researchers at the Sensible City Lab at MIT map the trails of internet information flowing between the neighborhoods of New York and the rest of the world. That dynamic ebb and flow of data reveals the invisible nervous system of our information age and the internet economy. It's one in a wave of ambitious social network experiments underway in the US and Europe to track our movements, probe our relationships, and ultimately affect the individual choices we all make. So far, these studies scratch only the surface of human complexity. But researchers believe their findings hint at basic rules of human interaction. Such precise positioning data, automatically collected by cell phone companies and many smartphone applications, makes privacy advocates nervous. They worry about so much personal data beyond our control. But social scientists are dazzled by the research possibilities. They only work with anonymous phone records, but can learn some surprising things about how we influence each other's health, weight, mood, and politics. This animation turns 300 million posts via Twitter in a day into a dynamic national mood map that shows how our collective emotions change during the day, moving across the country like a weather front. The green is a measure of our good feeling, red shows our unhappiness, and by this measure, Americans are happiest in the morning and late evening. Unlike a conventional landline, a mobile phone usually is used by only one person who carries it throughout the day. Typically, even a basic phone comes equipped with sensors that record our movements and sense our proximity to other people with phones. It usually also has a compass, a gyroscope, and an accelerometer to sense rotation and direction. Using these, a company called Sense Networks, founded by computer scientists at MIT and Columbia University, used cell phone data to map trends in urban nightlife. They can follow the crowds around fashionable restaurants and trendy bars. This animation shows how people in San Francisco move from hotspot to hotspot over the course of an evening. Cell phones are so much a part of our life that they generate immense commercial databases that reveal the ways we arrange ourselves into networks of power, money, love, and trust by exposing lines of social force, like iron filings aligned around a magnet. These cell phone patterns allow researchers to see past our individual differences to forms of behavior that shape us in common. Wall Street Journal. This is science writer Robert Lee Holtz in New York.